Today we're going to talk about um, disassembling and assembling a TIG torch uh, for when you need to change tungstens or sharpen your tungsten etc and change your consumables. So first of all we'll strip it down and then reassemble going through all the different various parts. So these are the various parts of a TIG torch. Um, start with the shroud. Shroud is generally the last piece to go on. And what that does, as the gas comes through the diffuser, which is this part, it comes out and covers your tungsten, stops uh, your tungsten getting dirty, burnt, also protects your weld. The TIG gun main body has a button, click the button, that sends the power through to the end of the tungsten, which in turn melts your material. We have a collet, which fits inside the diffuser. And we have your tungsten, which fits inside of your collet. And the way this works is when it goes in your gun and you put your backing cap on, it tightens down, tightening up this little slit onto the tungsten. Jesus which stops it from sliding out. If you don't, and you use the wrong size tungsten, which I'll go through later, you will find you will have problems. Your tungsten slides straight through. Okay, so reassembly. So first of all, put your collet into your holder, screw it into the end of the torch. Put in your tungsten. and then put your back cap on. Now this is a long back cap. If you are going into a tight gap, you can get what's called a button back cap, which is virtually flat. As you can see, the tungsten is now solid. It won't fly out. Put on your shroud. And you should have a roughly a three mil stick out. So that as you're welding, feeding your rod in. Now, there are different types of tungsten. Uh, as you can see, you have painted ends. Uh, the two more common ones are red and white. Red is for mild steel, stainless steel, etc. White generally used for aluminium. Uh, and if you notice, the thoriated tungsten, which is the red one, is shortened to a point, um, and a very fine point at that. The white one is generally used on aluminium and should be radiused. It doesn't go to a point. If you put it to a point, you'll find very difficult to weld. Uh, again, like I said, there are different diameters, the thicker the material that you're going to weld, the thicker the tungsten you'd use. Um, if you try and put in the wrong size tungsten into the collet and tighten it up, it will fall out, this is what I said before. So ensure that your collet and your tungstens are a match. Um, this is a 1.5 millimeter tungsten. These are 2.4 millimeter tungstens. Um, these are the more general purpose ones. That's how to assemble a TIG torch.